All right, it is Monday the 6th. Happy New Year for those that are jumping into today's podcast. Uh, when the kids are off of school, I'm off of this podcast because, you know what, I record this podcast in my house and I don't want them hearing what I'm saying. At the same time, I can't stop them from outside, but I do stop them when I'm here because guess what? I yell, I scream, I cuss, I, I do all these good things in my podcast and I want you guys to understand that. Also too, you know, it gives me a chance, gives me a break, lets me get a little refresh, a little reboot, and then since it's the new year, hopefully I keep things interesting. So thank you for listening, paying attention, spon you know, just people, those who listen and support this podcast, I appreciate it. Thank you once again. All right, happy new year, new year, new everything, new all that bullshit. All right. Now, before I get into today's podcast, I want to thank Blackstone, Blackstone Labs for sponsoring me, sponsoring this podcast. You can get 20% off your entire order at BlackstoneLabs.com. Blackstone Labs is a supplement company that sells hardcore supplements. Look, if you're looking to get jacked, you're looking to get thinned out, you're looking to get ripped, shredded, bolt, whatever you're trying to do, they have what you need. I use their products, I believe in their products, and you know what? They have high quality stuff. So if you're looking for pre-workout protein, branching amino acids, something to make you big, something to make you small, all that good fucking shit, they got it. BlackstoneLabs.com. You can get 20% off your entire order. Use promo code B to the fourth power at checkout. And there it is. 20% off your entire order. They also have samples. So if you want to try things out, you want to try flavors, guess what? Order the flavors, order the samples, and you know what? You get 20% off the samples. Easy as fucking that. That's B to the fourth power at checkout at BlackstoneLabs.com. Also to CNH Concrete for serving, and thank you, thank them for serving the San Francisco Bay Area. If you need concrete work done, you need con you have concrete, look, you want driveways, patios, walkways, sidewalks, foundations, whatever it involves, concrete, they will take care of you. That's CNH Concrete. Look, they do all industrial, residential, whatever it is. Also too, if you need roofing and landscaping, they take care of that too. That's CNH Concrete serving the San Francisco Bay Area. All right. Look, uh, new year, new everything. All right, things that I did over the Christmas, New Year's week. I watched The Witcher. For those who listen to this podcast, understand that I don't watch TV series. I don't watch TV shows. But I do make exceptions for things that, not that I have to watch, but I'm made to watch. And when, I make, when I'm saying I make an exception, my wife said I need to watch it. So guess what the fuck I'm doing? I'm watching it. And The Witcher is one of them. Not kid-friendly. Just saying. Just for those that don't know. But it is a great TV show. I fuck it. It had me hooked from the beginning. The premise, the setup, everything they did drew me in. And the hype was real. The, the hype is real. So if you haven't watched it, make sure you check it the fuck out because the Angry Dad recommends it. The Witcher. All right. It, it just basically, it's a great TV show. I don't want to give no spoilers. I don't want to say anything. But if you like action pack, you like bullshit, you like dry humor, you like funny humor, you like ironic humor guess the fuck what this is gonna be for you and i'm not just saying it's all humor because it's it's action fucking packed and i enjoy it so the witcher i ate my wife made me watch it i liked it so it is what it is and i enjoyed it all right um i didn't really watch anything else over the tv show i just kind of just watched my own things that i like to watch i like alien stuff i like conspiracy stuff i like bigfoot stuff i like ghost stuff so you know what i'm, I'm pretty much just watching the travel channel and history too those two channels basically have everything that I want to watch, so that's what I watch. But uh, also, too, um, I had a stroke. I'm going to call it a stroke. I don't know what else to fucking call it. Uh, you know, uh, face went numb. Arm went numb. Um, don't know why it happened. Don't know what caused it. Doctors don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Uh, changed my prescriptions. I was on a prescription setup of, like, a preventative medication after I had my heart attack back in June or uh, last June all right June 9th 2019 I had a heart attack it was a major one so you know they wanted to give me more aggressive things now due to what I think I had and what you know like I said they don't want to always say what things are but you know it is what it is and you know a dog's a dog a cat's a cat so you know I lost feeling for my face this for those that are not want they, that can't watch this from the left my left cheek to my ear it just feels like I have Novocaine in my face like if you went to the dentist you got shot up getting dental work that's just how it feels it feels puffy it feels awkward it feels weird um it's a sensation that I felt more than a few times because it's not the first fucking one but you know what it is what it is and 
it looks like this one's sticking with me. They also said I lost a little bit of strength in my left arm and my left leg, but uh, I feel fine. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can notice it, but it's not prevalent. I feel I can get it back. I feel I can train my body back into shape. I feel that there's nothing wrong with me, but you know, it is what it is. You know, of course my wife's worried to fucking death. You know, that's what she, that's what wives do. But, you know, trying to reassure that I'm still alive, I'm still making it, still kicking, still alive, just changing the medication, getting used to the medication. And when they change medication, they go from like a real, like I said, I'm going from a preventative, real low dose to some high doser stuff. And goddamn, it kicked me right in the dick. It fucking, I feel tired, I feel exhausted, I'm fucking drained. Um, I guess it's just something I have to get used to. Had a doctor's appointment today. And when I had the doctor's appointment today, I kind of explained him what's going on. He's all, look, this is what it is. You're going to have to live with it. You're going to have to deal with it. You're just going to have to fucking suck it up. Well, it is what it fucking is. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I've, I've had two different cardiologists and they kind of told me the same fucking thing. You know, what can we do? But try to prevent the next one from happening. And I was all right. I can live with that. That's what I got to deal with. So, you know, what can you say? What can you fucking do? I feel like shit, but you know what? It's not the first fucking time, so I'll get over it. You know, and that's what I want people to understand. You know, the, in life, limitations are set upon you. You know, limits are set upon you. These things that tell you, no, you can't, no, you don't, no, you fucking, what the fuck, all right? And I've had these things placed upon me, placed in front of me my whole fucking life. Not just medical fucking shit, but just the way I felt about things, the way I grew up, the way things were shown to me, I kind of just felt I was stuck in a certain way, a certain path, a certain style of life. And you know what? No. That's not fucking true. That is not fucking true. None of that is fucking true. And that, that's what I'm going to tell people right fucking now. Limits are what you set. That is what you think. That's what you set in your mind that I can't do this, I can't do that. Well, guess the fuck what? You're coming, you're talking to somebody who's had two fucking heart attacks, a couple of fucking strokes, and look at me fucking now. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. I'm not fucking letting this hit me in the, the kind of way that typical people would. Typical people. Like I said, and when I say typical, I'm, I'm talking about your average Joe. Like, oh man, I need to take care of myself. And you, guess the fuck what? I already take care of myself. I think I do a pretty damn good job of taking care of myself. I eat as good as I can fucking eat. I exercise every fucking day. And I do these things. But you know what? I have a style of life I like to live. I have a certain look I want to fucking keep. And I'm not going to let anything stop me from doing that. As long as I got breath in my fucking lungs, blood flowing in my fucking heart, I'm going to fucking be who the fuck I am. All right? Regardless of how I fucking feel, regardless of... Look, and it, it, it comes upon depression, it comes upon this mental state, medical state, whatever the fuck it is that's coming at you in fucking life. Don't let shit like that stop you from hitting goals fucking breaking through limitations that you feel you have that you, that's holding you fucking back. All right? Because I never let nothing hold me fucking back any fucking more. I grew up, I got married young, I had kids young, and I don't hold I don't hold them as a limit. They're not lim they're not stopping me. They're not hindering me. But what was is the mindset that I had growing up about being a father, about being a husband, about being a person. Those were the limitations that I set upon myself. And when, I, when, when I'm talking about these things, look, I need to work as much as I need to work. I need to fucking take care of my kids. I need to make sure there's a roof over their head, food in their fucking stomachs, and everything's paid. But you know what? There's different ways to go about that. That just doesn't define who I fucking am. All right? That doesn't define who you fucking are. That's what I'm trying to get across. That's what I'm trying to let people fucking know. This is the kind of shit that fucking I grew up with. This is the kind of limits that I felt that I, like I could only do this. No, I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can do whatever the fuck I want, when I want, how I want, with who I want. All right. I grew up thinking of this kind of fucking way, but I, I broke through it. I had this epiphany of I can live life how I fucking want. And when I had this epiphany, when I had this fucking breakthrough, this mental fucking, I, it, from that point on, Nothing stops me from doing what I fucking want. Unless I am fucking dead, that is the only thing that's going to fucking stop me. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to be jacked. I'm going to be huge. I'm going to have a huge fucking beard. I'm going to be this fucking big fucking dude that does this fucking podcast, enjoys his fucking life, enjoys his fucking family, and does what he wants, says what he wants, when he fucking wants. That's what I want people to understand. 
Look, I had some serious medical fucking conditions. And guess what? I'm at work. I'm doing my things. And there's going to be people that had these serious fucking things. And they physically can't do anything. I understand that. But that's not my situation. That's not my fucking problem. Look, later down the line, if something happens again, which I hope not. But I'm going to continue to do as much as I can when I want. Because, look, I know how I should be feeling. I should be feeling... Down. I should be feeling depressed. I should be upset. I should be angry. I should be not the person that I feel right now. But you know what? What I feel right now is this doesn't stop me. This doesn't hurt me. Look, I have physical pain, but I don't give a fuck. I don't feel good. I still don't give a fuck. I'm hurting. I don't give a fuck because I'm going to continue doing what I want because if I let the pain stop me, I'm limiting myself to what I can't fucking do. And I will not be in my own way. All right? Look, shit fucking happens. But you got to fucking nut up or shut up. You got to fucking grow a fucking pair. You got to be a better you. Just don't let this, don't let something, don't let anybody put a limit on you. Especially your fucking self because you are more than capable of doing anything in this fucking world. And I tell people that all the fucking time. And the reason I fucking say it is because look at me. Look, I grew up, look, not in the best condition. My, my mom worked all the fucking time. But you know what? That didn't stop me. It taught me. I learned from my mom. Hard work and determination get you everywhere. So that's what I fucking did. I grew up in the hood. I grew up fucking in a crazy fucking place. Grew in, doing crazy fucking things. But look at me fucking now. Look. If I can do this shit in this fucking world, in this fucking lifetime, you can too. You can turn your life around. You can become a better person. You can be who you want to fucking be. But it's up to fucking you to do that shit. Because if you let yourself stop yourself, if you let anything stop yourself, you'll never accomplish what you fucking want. Because what you want is to be great. What you want is to be better. What you want is to be the person you thought you would be. And you can be that person by just fuck limits, fuck limitations, fuck shit stopping me, get shit done. And when you get shit done, when shit gets done, when you get your shit done, you start living your life the way you want. I want people to understand that. I spew it out. I say it all the fucking time. And the reason I fucking say it is because I'm the living proof of that fucking shit. All right? hundred fucking percent. I just did. I'm just not speaking on it. I'm fucking living it. I'm doing it. I want to make sure that people understand there are examples in this world of succeeding when you failed. Just because you fail one time. Just because be Just because you fail a few times. Doesn't mean that's the end. That doesn't mean to stop. It doesn't mean jack fucking shit. It means you try again, you try again, you try again. Fuck it, I'm up again, I'm doing it again. I ain't dead yet. I ain't made it yet. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to make it. I'm going to become the person I want to fucking be because that's who I am. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck the dumb shit. Fuck all this shit because I'm going to do what I want when I want and you need to repeat it. You need to fucking say it. You need to make sure that you get that across to yourself. Like I said, you got to be you. You got to be number one and you got to make sure it's a new fucking year. Make sure you fucking pull up your fucking pants. You get shit done and you make it fucking happen because I'm going to do better this year. I'm going to make damn sure of it. I'm trying to do things that I've never done in my fucking life. In my fucking life. And the reason I'm trying is because I don't want to regret not doing it. So I'm taking my fucking chances, making shit fucking happen, and doing it. So guess the fuck what? This is the angry motherfucking dad. Happy two motherfucking thousand twenty. It's time to get shit straight. It's time to get shit done. This is the year of getting shit done. Angry motherfucking dad. You want to watch this shit? IGTV, YouTube. You want to listen to it? Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Podbean. All that fucking bullshit. Look, rate, review, subscribe, all that fucking shit. It helps me out. All the information in the bottom, in the fucking notes. Sponsors, right there. Look, go check it the fuck out. See what the fuck. Angry motherfucking dad. I'll see y'all motherfuckers on the next one. Fuck. Never, never Always living, always living, always living.